is about to begin. And you're gonna love it. What's up, YouTube? This is Lactrox Topher here. And I'm bringing you a week four of the Missouri Dynasty, the last one that should be an SD. And I will have a recruiting update. Um, here shortly as well it should be the next video up and the first one back in HD uh, I'm gonna pardon you guys for anything I do wrong here as I play number seven South Carolina this week because I will I edited this before I left for school and then so it's been like a week a little over a week since I edited it so I might be a little off on some of the names and stuff but so this will be a sloppier one, but hopefully you guys still enjoy it and the gameplay should be great. Good enough that you'll forget all about my commentating. But here we go. South Carolina starts out with the ball here. And after being stopped on first down, they run the toss out to the right side on second and get stopped. Bringing up this third and 11, Connor Shaw rolls deep. Uh, Gain, EJ Gaines gets beat deep by Sanders. He gets to about the five-yard line on the play. Connor Shaw then here in the red zone, first and goal. He'll tuck it, run it himself, hits the tackle, but he'll get in. Touchdown, uh, Gamecocks as the quarterback keeper tucks it and plows over a defensive player for the touchdown. Now, James Franklin trying to make noise on his own as he'll hit Waters out of the backfield. Big pick up there. Third and one. Hand off to Josie. He'll pick it up. The star running back out of Texas. Getting to about the 40-yard line. Hand off to Josie again. Why not? It's working right. He's good for another seven. Here, they'll run a motion fake to e or TJ Moe, and he'll pick up the first down. Uh... The Tigers are rolling right now until that play action sack, bringing up a second and seven. And you can just see he did not see. He had no time to get that off. Franklin trying to find somebody as he's being taken down the throw to, but just couldn't. Second and seven. They'll go back to the air. Almost throw an interception there. He's looking for his running back on the hitch route in the flat. Uh, big third and long here. He'll throw it across the middle to Green Beckman, the freshman, and that is in the red zone. Going from third and long to a scoring position. Great play there. Lost a yard on the handoff to Josie, but they'll go right back at him trying to pick up yards. He'll get behind his lineman and only get one. Third and 11, pretty long. They got the tight end. Clark over the middle. He's to about the two-yard line. First and goal, Tigers. He'll run up to Green Beckman in the flats. Touchdown, Missouri. And it is tied up 7-7 here in South Carolina. Big run by... Uh, South Carolina, and I forgot to tell you guys while well, Miles takes this handoff. I checked the injury report, and you guys will see it a little later. But um, Marcus Latimer got hurt and out for the season again with I think like a knee sprain or something tear. And I was just like, God, it's just ironic how in this game he even gets hurt for huge seasons. Of course, probably had something to do with his injury rating and all that jazz. But this is that's where we stand. A uh, Marcus Latimer list. South Carolina Gamecocks, and there they uh, didn't convert and had to punt the ball away. They get it pinned nicely, as you can see. Missouri takes the ball back over here deep in their own territory, and they'll pick up the first down, giving themselves some room to work, and out of the shadow of their own goalpost. Um, the false start there by the defense is really going to help out James Franklin, as he is still young and needs a little help getting these uh, Tigers rolling. Here they're going for it on fourth and inches. The fullback sneak or fullback dive to Waiters. The tight end works out perfectly. The ballsy call, call there by Coach Lax, but it works out here. Hand off to Lawrence, who picks up solid yards. We're getting we're getting pretty good gains on the ground in the last couple of games, which has made, made Coach Lax kind of adjust his game plan from passing a lot from the pro to actually handing it off a lot. Um, but not so much there as Josie gets wrapped up in the backfield. Bringing up another third and long. They'll convert again. Waters is having a great game as he's just hauling in every pass on his direction. Josie has also been good for about three or four yards about every carry. And right there he barely misses picking up the two for the first down. They're going for it fourth and inches a second time on the drive. The quarterback sneak doesn't get it this time. They'll turn the ball over on down. Score is 7-7. Seven, seven. Nice break up there by the DB as the wide receiver had a sure first down but just stripped it from him at the last minute. Cunningham here picks up the third down, gets about nine yards on it. Moving the chains. Connor Shaw trying to keep the chains moving, and he will as he cunning, hits Cunningham again. And now the tight ends for the South Carolina Gamecocks are making some noise. Shaw drops back, uh, scrambles here, gets hit pretty hard by the 
corner who hits him after the linebacker kind of tripped him up a bit. Second and six, rolling out. Shaw just scrambling. Not I did not know Connor Shaw was such a scrambling quarterback, but apparently here in this one, he is. Uh, Connor Shaw <laughs> scrambling again, but he fumbles in there. Uh, there, a tight end comes up with it, and that's a huge pickup for South Carolina. That would have been a deadly turnover here in scoring position. And then, the, then the, later in the draft, they'll hit Ellington for the touchdown, giving them a seven-point lead, 14-7, with just seconds to go in the second or first half. And then uh, James Franklin hits Lucas on a huge streak play, just was totally uncovered. And now they're in field goal range. Nice play to Lucas again. He'll scamper out of bounds, stopping the clock with 12 seconds. Missouri having a very great drive, kind of like Atlanta against the uh, Seattle Seahawks yesterday in the divisional round, right? But there's a touchdown, tying it up 14-14 on a huge last-second uh, drive there in the to end the first half for the most part and South Carolina's defense just played too conservative giving up too many plays and here on the squib kick the returner muffs it and Missouri will cover it with nine seconds left they have a chance to put up another seven and then it will as he hits waters for the touchdown on the first play from that only took three seconds to score uh 14 points great play for the uh Missouri Tigers, and of course, why not squib it again, right? If they messed it up the first time, they almost messed it up that time, but Hamington gets a handle of it. But unfortunately, from the screen from the referee, he gets clocked by my DB who just snuck around him. And that will end the first half as the Missouri Tigers went from a seven-point deficit to a seven-point lead in the closing seconds of the second half. Let's see if they can keep it going and hold their seven-point lead as they got the ball first here in the second half. James Franklin trying to keep his magic going, and Waters is the hot hand right now, but he's getting covered, and he has to dump it out to a screen to Josie. James Franklin keeping it alive. There's Waters, the boy that's been on fire all game, bringing up this third and five passing. Uh, a lot of passing here after having some success with the run, bringing up fourth and one, the third time they're going to go for it in this game. Josie up the middle, and he doesn't get it. It's the third time they've gone for it, and the second time it's been a turnover on downs. So then you start punting the ball away, it looks like. Good in there, gets a nice wrap-up to make it second and three, but Anderson will just juke out a couple of DBs, picking up a huge game, getting inside the 30-yard line. Connor Shaw trying to keep the drive alive, and he misses the guy out of the backfield. That's a backward pass, rolls out of bounds, though, bringing up a long third and 13. Just misses the sack, but he'll find Ellington, who's come up big for them in the red zone in this game. Miles, the running back out of the Wildcat, will hit Cunningham for the touchdown. The wide receiver, or the uh, wide receiver running back hookup, Successful there for the touchdown out of the Wildcat formation. Miles throws possibly his career first first career touchdown pass. But James Franklin hitting Waters again, trying to answer back at this tie as the third quarter is windling down. Eight receptions, 95 yards, two touchdowns by the tight end Waters. Great game. Fumble, but luckily the guard is there to fall on it. Franklin just needs to keep the ball in our hands here in the red zone, and he will find Clark for the touchdown on the post, scoring in the beginning of the fourth quarter. And you can see Coach Lax giving his guys some props, saying, Good job, way to get the points back up there and answer quickly. Now, the defense needs to come up with a stop here is what needs to happen. As Ebner makes a tackle, forcing this third and five. Shaw trying to convert like to have all game, and he does. Finding Sanders, who's had kind of a quiet game of that big catch in the first half. Shaw rolling out deep. He's got the guy on the play action. It's Cunningham. He Cunningham has just been killing us throughout the game in the deep situations, and then it's been Ellington in the red zone. But here is a fumble as the running back cannot keep his hands on the ball as he's getting hit, and it gets stripped. They review it to think of it as an incomplete pass, but it's ruled a fumble. That's a touchdown for Edwards. Great play as they get a 14-point lead here late in the fourth quarter for the Missouri Tigers, trying to upset number seven, South Carolina, at South Carolina here in the SEC. Rolling out deep, and that one will be picked by Walker. Very reminiscent of Earl Thomas these last couple weeks. I don't know why I have all the Seattle Seahawks references, but I do as he takes it into about the 10-yard line, about the 9, call it wherever you want. But we're in scoring position, and the Missouri fans loving it like they should. Two minutes, just over two minutes left here in the fourth fourth quarter, and we'll give it right back as C C C Winger Swinger C Ringer, whoever that is, comes up with a pick as a bad read by James Franklin. They had a chance to go up by three possessions here late in the fourth quarter. Connor Shaw just keeping his scrambling alive. And I don't know why I didn't switch to aggressive quarterback contain, but I just did not think Connor Shaw was going to be a 
threat with his feet. Nice break up there by Gaines as he makes sure that that wide receiver doesn't roll in that easy pass. Edwards here trying to get off his block. It slows down the receiver enough to get tackled by the safety. But it doesn't matter because Connor Shaw in South Carolina is moving this ball seemingly at will. Here's a penalty. It is a holding call, luckily, on South Carolina. That will bring them back, reforce them to do it first and five instead of a first down way more down the field. Connor Shaw sacked, bringing up second and 11. They're running the hurry up now because they're running out of time. They need 14 points. Connor Shaw looking deep here. Every route is deep. He'll just lob one up. Should have been picked by Webb there. Great coverage by the defense. Bring up a long third and down. Same route. Everyone pretty much going deep. He'll throw it. Guy got to come back for it. And Ebner, the linebacker, just doesn't quite have the coverage skills to be able to read that as he overreads the route and doesn't realize the wide receiver had stopped. Giving them a possession in the red zone now. Connor Shaw trying to make something happen. And he'll throw a pick to EJ Gaines who's had a great season for us, and there he'll dive down because he, he wants to be safe here. And then here trying to run out the clock, they use all three timeouts, and we actually gave them a lot more time left. If we were unable to pick up one first down, big punt return here by Sanders gets them inside the 30-yard line, and they are in scoring. It's it, it would take a miracle, but crazier things have happened. As Edwards should have got a pick there, second one of the game. Sam coming around the end, and he will level Shaw. Uh, fourth and ten, Shaw trying to make something happen, and he does. He finds more for the first down just barely, but you can see Shaw took the prize for staying in the pocket so long as he is down. He would be out with a mild concussion, out for game. And then you saw Lattimore's out for the season as well. So the backup Thompson trying to lead the rally. He hits Davis, gets tackled at the one-yard line and shoved out of bounds. Doesn't matter. The clock runs out, and uh, the Missouri Tigers pick up the win here by 14. 35-21, upsetting number 7, South Carolina in SEC conference play. Big win for Coach Lax and his Missouri Tigers. <laughs> Look at James Franklin, only four incompletions, and he threw for four touchdowns. And one of those incompletions was an interception. So technically the ball only hit the ground three times for James Franklin. Not bad. Um, so you can see, kind of going through the stats, and I'll talk about it. So yeah, I'm going to do a recruiting update probably today or tomorrow, and then it'll take me probably a day to edit and commentate to it. So expect within the next two to three days another video to come out. They're going to be a little slower than they were over Christmas break, but I'm going to keep them coming out for you guys. Um, just had a huge Maryland thing, so for Air Raid, expect a Maryland video coming out soon. I need to start my Madden thing up. I might do a Super Bowl sim and stuff like that. So this has been Laxrox Topher with my Missouri Dynasty. Uh, we have UCF, I believe. Yeah, UCF next week, and we're ranked. We're ranked again. Great. 3-1. and one. Great start. We only need three more to be bowl eligible. Better than they were in real life. So follow me on the social networks. All that information is like usual down in the subscription. Comment and like this video because it helps people find it, which helps me. The most important thing you can do, the most helpful thing you can do is subscribe to my channel. So hit that button, please. And of course, to everyone out there, this has been Lax Rocks Topher and Keep Game.